Welcome back guys to another episode of Hacks and Hunt. On today's episode, we are gonna be shooting the Prime Black 3 up against the Hoyt Axius Ultra. Uh, so we got a 34 inch axle axle bow up against a 33 inch axle axle bow. Um, both set up at 70 pounds, 30 inch draw lengths. Super stoked about doing these two bows. So if you guys wanna see which bow I'd rather go home with today, then go ahead and stay tuned. First bow that we are gonna show you guys is gonna be this Prime Black 3. Right there is gonna be the balance. It's got a little bit of top, top heaviness to it coming back this way, um, but honestly not too bad. The overall feel of this bow in the hand um, is really good. It's basically just a bear riser. There is no additional handle or grip on this bow. A lot of people are a fan of that. I am I am personally a fan of it. I uh, haven't been in the past, but I, I've kind of learned to learn to I've kind of grown to to like it but uh, let's do the all right okay so it is pretty pretty smooth draw I mean it's drops back into that valley and just there's a little bit, it's not wanting to like force itself forward. And yeah, this is a little bit of a long draw for me. I'm typically about a 29 and a half. I'm gonna shot kind of well. Um, this draw stop is just slightly not touching there. So I'm gonna hand adjust that, that way it's touching the string. All right, so now that that draw stop's now touching that string there, let's take a second shot out of the black three. String angle is really good. Hmm. A little bit more hand truck than I expected out of this bell. I mean, it anchors in really good. It feels good um, shooting wise, but I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like there's a little bit more of, more hand shock than I remember shooting in the past or, I guess that I expected. And I think everything's, everything should be set up all right. Let's try this one more time. Yeah, it's definitely got quite a bit, honestly quite a bit of hand vibration there um, in their riser when, after you shoot. So, kind of got mixed feelings about that. Um, still, ah, let's just put it up against that Axius Ultra and kind of see the differences between those two and how they're feeling both shots. So I'm gonna grab those arrows and then grab the Axius Ultra. All right, so I've got this Axius Ultra. Show you guys the balance of this bow. It is literally perfectly balanced. Um, Hoyt's done a really good job with perfectly balancing their bows right there at that grip and I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of that. So let's do the draw cycle. I do feel like this draw cycle is a little bit smoother. Let's do that one more time. And that just, there's a little bit of a cushion there in that back wall, which makes it just 
into like a nice soft landing into that back wall. Definitely a lot less hand vibration after that shot. Um, definitely feels a lot more comfortable too. I feel more steady. Yeah, like, I would say like 75% less hand vibration in this Axis Ultra, which I don't, I don't know. I feel like the last time I shot the Black 3, it had very minimum hand vibration. Let me know in the comments below why you guys think it's got a little bit more vibration than it has in the past with me shooting. But anyway, right now, this Axis Ultra is killing it. I mean, this thing is shooting so good. Feels really good in the hand. That back wall has just got a little bit of sponge to it. And that uh, string angle is money. may have broken a fletching on that. Aim at a different spot, this fourth arrow. No jump forward, very minimum hand vibration. Very smooth draw. Honestly, dude, this might be the bow I pick. Yeah, that, that is shooting very, very nice. So now that we've kind of got the first initial shots off these bows, we're gonna go throw them through the chronograph, kind of see what speeds they're shooting, throw them up on the scale, both uh, see how much they weigh compared to each other, and then see the true draw weight of these two bows and make sure that they are, they're in similar you know, stages. They're both 70 pound bows, um, but just wanna see you know, if they run high or run low or dead on. So anyway, we're gonna head over to the chronograph and go check out the speeds. First bow we're going to shoot through this chronograph is going to be the Hoy Axis Ultra. Again, a 437 grain arrow at uh, 70 pounds at 30 inch draw. First shot is a 296. Let's go with a second shot, see where that's at. And a 293, so right there in that mid to 290 range. Um, out of both shots with the Axis Ultra. Let's grab these arrows. Next up is gonna be this Prime Black 3. Again, same setup, 30 inch, 70 pound, four, uh, 437 grain arrow. First shot. We're at 308. Good shot there. Both of them are set up with the uh, same whisker biscuit. Rest. And 304, so right there in the mid 300 range, um, just below the 310, uh, shooting out there at that black three. We're gonna test the uh, weight on the scale and see what they're pull both pulling back at. First one up on here on the scale is gonna be the uh, prime black three. To check the draw weight. We are at 71.8 pounds. Next up is gonna be the Hoy Axis Ultra. So 71.9, so Axis Ultra is 0 .01 pounds heavier. 
So not a difference at all. Now we're gonna do the weight of the bow itself. Black three is 5.16 pounds. And the Axios Ultra is 5.51 pounds. So Axios Ultra is just slightly heavier, which it is a one inch longer axle axle bow. So it's gonna be coming off that. And then we're gonna shoot them down range again and pick which bow would be the best shooting bow. All right, so we're gonna be doing a two arrow grouping out of both bows, kind of see how tight of a group we can hold, and then just kind of review the uh, shot process, the draw cycle and everything, and pick which, uh, which one is feeling and shooting better. First up is gonna be the Hoyt Axius Ultra. Good shot. Second arrow, see if we can get a good grouping. The Axios Ultra. Good group there with those two arrows with the Axios Ultra. Now for the uh, Prime Black 3. Going back to shooting this one. Good shot. This one does have a much more solid back wall. So if you like hard back wall, that black three is gonna have a little bit more of a solid one. Um, I do feel like the uh, Hoyt definitely has a much more smooth draw cycle um, and, a, and an easier drop into that back wall. This one kind of dumps into it. Not, uh, not terribly, but you can definitely tell the difference shooting the two side by side. And uh, they're both the same weight. They're like 71, 72 pounds. And I feel like the black three almost feels heavier to draw, but, oops. But honestly, I mean, they're both great shooting and feeling bows. I do feel like that last shot with this prime, the black three, I feel like I was able to anchor in, or not anchor, but settle that pin in a lot more stable. And there is no stabilizers or anything on either one of these bows. But I feel like, that pin is much more stable with this black three. All right, good group down range. Let's go check out those arrows, see how close they are together and then pick which bow I feels best. All right, so first two shots were out of that Axios Ultra right there. Good, good group. And then right here is out of that black three. Uh, good group in there. This one's a little bit tighter. Yeah, I know it's only about a 10 yard, 13 yard shot, but just wanna show you guys the uh, grouping wise. Both felt really good, both shot really good. Um, shooting that black three that second round, I didn't, I didn't notice near as much hand vibration. Um, so I don't know if it was just those first couple shots. That's gonna wrap up this video, guys, with the Prime Black 3 up against the Axios um, Ultra from Hoyt. Uh, both bows feel and shoot really good. Um, we've got a longer axle axle bow there with that Hoyt by an inch, so not a whole lot. You got the dual cam system here on the Prime to get that exact um, center string, so that way you're not having any cam lean or anything like that. Um, I, the Hoyt's got a better, smoother draw and drop into that back wall. I would for sure give that one to the Hoyt. Um, I feel like the Prime's got a little bit more of a settling the pin um, advantage. I feel like I was able to settle that pin a little bit better with the with the uh, Black 3 in my hand. Um, speed, the Black 3 is a little bit quicker by about almost 20 FPS. And so if you're a speed guy, that's for sure you know, a big factor. Um, 
I guess not 20, sorry, about 10, because this one was 290, mid 290s, and this one was just over 308 or whatever on that first shot. So just uh, 12 FPS or so. Anyway, guys, if I was to pick a bow today, that's a hard one. These are these are right now about my top two bows. So I would honestly be happy with either bow to get home with. Um, shoot, you know, I'm not even gonna pick a bow. I'm just gonna take them both home with me today in theory, you know. If I, uh, you know, I don't know. Both, both bows <laughs> felt and shot really good. I'm a big fan of both of them. Um, get down to your guys' nearest Hoyton Prime dealer and go shoot these bows next to each other, side by side, in your own hand, and, and see which one shoots best for you guys. But uh, that's gonna wrap up this video. Just wanna say huge thanks to all of you guys that support my channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's, it really means a lot to me. The, know that there's people out there that do support my channel big thanks to Terry here at TNT Archery let me come on in and honestly just take up his time and shoot the bows and and you know just jog his his brain for some info and some knowledge that he's got in the archery world but uh yeah both bows are great shooting bows guys we will see you guys next time